check it. Uh, yeah, feeling unstoppable, Stop. immovable. You moving to stop at me, that's improbable, Please. impossible. You ain't a door, I ain't knocking you, but all to try to fail. Cause, well, that's an obstacle. You ain't physically fit for. Shout, come, mix with thought. Fine, paid in full, man, that could get you rich, poor. Rich, so watch too heavy, it make it drag. Put me on tracks, cause baby, I'll get this swag. Bring it to life like Lazarus, I'm hazardous. If you ain't gotta, to suck, you probably gotta to get stabbed. No tears here, I am G. Fro Nation, my life, baby, AMG. I be shooting for the stars, and baby, my aim G. Satisfied with my target, yes, I aim to please. Oh, Chef Fro Yard, I'm cooking up. The symbols everywhere, no need to look us up. Yeah. Time to celebrate my campaign. I'm gonna need cigars, pretty ladies, and some champagne. Flex it so hard, baby, I might pull a hamstring. Get your umbrella, this the time that my camp rang. They don't let us in, we kick your doors down. They don't let us in, we kick your doors down. They don't let us in, we kick your doors down. Top spot size. Please pardon my aggression, but this money, power, liberation, fueling my obsession. This is the year of my election. Probably really run for president, then get put up out of office. Tell him, suck on my erection. What the monocle of whiskey as I ride around the city? Thinking God, I beat the odds. Ronald Reagan couldn't kill me, nigga. The coronavirus been having us in the mask. Really murdered every day, so coronavirus my ass. This is Jordan 9-6, Allen 901. Get a Ouija board and tell my niggas, come and look what I have done, brother. Luna, solo, you can't eclipse this. Okay, the misfits, misses with your bullshit. Suggest the vast opinions. Trying to see my niggas up on the yacht. That's a friendship. Trying to get my niggas off the block. Selling fresh tips, no white lines. Man, the cure for this crap was right in line. Running with some crips tonight. Who really trying to fight crime? Yeah. What's up? Time to celebrate my campaign. I gon' need cigars, pretty ladies, and some champagne. Cause it's so hard, baby. I might pull a hamstring. Get your umbrella. It's the time that my camp rain. They don't let us in. We kicking doors down. They don't let us in. We kicking doors down. They don't let us in. We kicking doors down. Top spot size. Second place is yours now. They don't let us in. We kicking doors down. They don't let us in. We kicking doors down. They don't let us in, we kick your doors down. Top spot size, only second place is yours now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bo Dean, more like Bo Clean. My gosh, that was so good. <laughs> Bo, you're representing St. Louis very well, man. Great to have you at the Grandel Thanks as we record Tiny Jam. Man. I'm uh, I'm excited. Do you, is that a new track? Do you have something coming out in the near future? That's actually off of the, my most recent project with T Dub O. It's called Bruce vs. Bang 2. It's available on all digital streaming platforms. And that song is called Champagne Showers. Champagne Showers. I'm can't tell if I'm more impressed with the name Champagne Showers or the front kick that you delivered earlier <laughs> in the uh, credit. Have you ever have you ever landed that on somebody? I have. Chest, stomach, what are you, liver? What are you aiming for with that kick? Chest. Okay, yeah. well, you answered that really fast. So uh, that's something you've thought about and executed before, so I appreciate that. <laughs> you're from St. Louis. You're here at Tiny Jam. Uh, I'm going to explain what we do here. What we do is we have artists like Bo Dean perform for you all at home. You get to enjoy it anytime, and then we have a cocktail that's made. Suits up. Today we're teaming up uh, Bo Dean with Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey, so we'll have a great drink made up and everything. Bo, you ready for a good time and a good drink? Yes, sir, I am. All right, let's kick it off. Let's move over. And who do we have joining us today making that Jack Honey drink? What up? Jason Neely, STL Barkey. <laughs> I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I like I that. I wanted to like, throw it up. I'm going to put it on you just That's a great. little bit. That's Jason, great. You're, with, you're with STL Barkey. Yes, sir. Love you guys. And uh, I love, I saw you. So here's the way this works, a little peek behind the scenes. Bo shows up, drops the, uh, the track, performs, kicks ass. We've got all kinds of stuff going on behind the scenes. We have an amazing tech crew. We've got this great theater we're using. But the bartender is also a big part of that. Jason's been back here hand whittling. He actually uh, captured a queen bee of a, uh, of a colony of bees. <laughs> And he's he's made special uh, accoutrements yeah, the for, the, uh, for the for the all the pheromones yep. are involved. Yep. Okay. So typically uh, with a Jack Daniels Tennessee honey type of drink, what are you uh, what are you leaning towards, and uh, and how are we going to get the uh, drink kicked off for today? Uh, you know the uh, Jack honey is pretty versatile. I think uh, a lot of people that either do it ice cold as a shot because it's delicious over the rocks. 
Uh, I've seen a lot of people do it with just a little bit of citrus because honey and lemon complement themselves, complement each other so well. Would you, hang on, wait, you ready for this? I'm Would ready. You say it's sweet with a kick? Yes, it's I like think that is that like is bow. the absolute. Like bow, you see that? <laughs> I like kicks. Tied it in, right? Oh, that yeah. was good. See? Yeah. Okay. That Not was just solid. one poet in the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, no. So, what are you making for us? I, uh, I really have. You've been you've been uh, hard at work behind the scenes prior to turning on the cameras. So, what are you delivering today? You know what? I'm gonna do the honey jack ginger snap. I threw your curve, didn't I? You Sounds did. To me. I was gonna say, Bo, Bo appreciates that. I appreciate okay. that. What's um, hmm. okay? So, a lot of people associate ginger with any type of other liqueur or liquor uh, to do a mule, but we already did a mule today. But we're gonna figure out how versatile Jack is, especially with what you've got already. If you got some ginger, you can make a syrup. But uh, we're gonna do a little bit of ginger syrup that I made for you today, uh, a little bit of lime. And then we're also gonna do just a splash of a very special ingredient that I think will kick this off called lemon cello and a little bit of uh, candy, candy garnish on top, a little candy ginger, also with a little fresh cinnamon on top. Okay, are you trying to? Who are you trying to kiss up to here? This is, you know, this is a lot. Are you trying to get on the uh, on the guest list for Bodine's first show back? You know like, what? Hopefully, he does move me on. For the, for the <laughs> I tell you what, because that, that first song was a banger. So right? I, I'm a fan. How, I'm like, a fan. I hope Thank there's you. no footage of uh, of the movement I was making or the lack thereof. Like <laughs> I was trying to stay contained, but I was like, I really enjoy the song, and I do not have the skills to. Uh, act out how I feel about the song. Hey, so, I got the cardboard yeah. in the back when you bust okay. it out, I'll show you some break dance. Moves. We'll work that out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick, a little bit more about you, Jason. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been bartending? And I guess a quick question on, uh, obviously you're making the, the uh, detailed cocktail tonight. Uh -huh. What's the difference between getting uh, somebody a quick cocktail, just what they want, and then taking your time on something special? You know, I've been bartending for seven years but I think I really took it seriously the past four years with these guys. Um, anybody can pour a, a couple of quick ounces in a mixer, but when somebody really asks you questions to figure out what you enjoy, um, they take your classics like a Jack Daniels and turn it on its head and give you something that you've never had before. That's where I think uh, a, a little bit longer goes a long way. But at the same time, I don't like waiting that long for my cocktail. <laughs> All right, Bo, do you treat your tracks like that? I mean, do you do you rush tracks out, or do you take a little time and craft them? Um, it doesn't take me that long to like write, so it's it's really just a quick pro process. Once I get the beat and vibe for a little bit, in and out. All right, I like that. I like the color scheme with uh, Tennessee honey as well. So let's see what you have, and uh, I'm sure people at home are going to be impressed. So we're going to start off with just a little bit of ice. Oh. I'm taking notes. Got it. So I'm gonna give you ounces and everything, my man. So we're gonna do an ounce and a half of this Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. You got a little draw on there when you say it? A little draw. Uh -huh, you know, you I just came from Nashville. Maybe it's stuck on me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brought a little home with you to St. Louis. You know, it's hard not to get the accent when you're talking to people and a little bit slower, but they take the time with what they say and I love it. My big thing about visiting places like uh, Tennessee, where uh, Jack Daniels is obviously uh, headquartered, um, I feel like less of a person because people will look you in the eye on an elevator and be, how's your day today? And, and they then care. I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there must be somebody behind me that I'm going to just ignore. No, they care. So uh, shout out to the South. <laughs> For manners. sure. So what I just did. No, what no, you it's not quite you don't like get there here that often. <laughs> well, what I've got here. We made a uh, homemade ginger syrup, just a little bit of sugar and some fresh ginger. And then I've also got a little bit of lime juice. So we did about half an ounce of ginger. I'm gonna do a quarter ounce of lime. And I told you the secret ingredient is my favorite. It's a lemon liqueur, it's called lemon cello. And it really just evens this out, smooths it out. We did some citrus before, but this is really gonna give it a little kick. And we're gonna do a half ounce of that. What's the favorite part about being a bartender? The people. No, you get to shake stuff. <laughs> I thought he was going emotional. Now, is there is there a, a tip you can give the folks at home watching Tiny Jam? What's uh, 
What's the most important part about a good shake? You know, always aim it away from the customer. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. See? Yeah. 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 Smart man. <laughs> it goes back. Yeah. And I am going to add one more thing. We're going to add, since we've got all of these aromatics, we've got ginger, we've got lime, we've got, we're going to put some zest on back end. I'm going to use some Jack Daniels bitters because it's got some allspice. It's going to really take it to another level. So we're going to do about four dashes there. And we're going to finish her off. Remember, away from everybody. A man of caution. Look at that. Ice cold tin. That's what you want. Get it on the side. She just lets go. So this really like a skill to make a good drink. Not really. Just, just repetition. Repetition. I think you're selling yourself short. <laughs> I think you've done a good job. And what's the name of the cocktail again? It is that Honey Jack Ginger Snap. So we did this, so we've got a lot, a lot of spices going on. So what I like to do sometimes to A, keep the effervescence, but B, to keep the taste, I do just a little bit of club soda on top. That's a pro move. Because it's going to cut it down just a little bit. Adds to the bite though, right? Right, because we're going to add some more bite. We've got some candied ginger. And then here, I'm not overdoing it, I'm not trying to show out, but just a little bit of cinnamon on top. Oh boy. Okay. You've really, <laughs> you've really pushed the envelope. I don't know. I don't know if Bodine's well, gonna go. want to be associated with this wild time. There it is. This is kind of crazy. Well, wonderful job. That looks delicious. Bodine, uh, we'll, we'll get, uh, we'll get you a cocktail. Jason. Wow. Um, I think the perfect setting is seeing Bodine live with one of these in our in our hands whenever things kind of open back up. I think so. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll need to make that happen. We're going to pop over, talk to Bo just a little bit more as uh, as we get moving through Tiny Jam. We do have another song to hear. Uh, I'm curious, Bo, you grew up, uh, you're a St. Louis guy, correct? Correct. Uh, who's your second favorite hip-hop or rap, or, uh, rap artist uh, behind Pretty Willie? <laughs> Jay-Z. <laughs> Do you remember Pretty Willie from St. Louis? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, St. Louis area. Oh, yeah. Shout I, out to Pretty Willie. Is there anybody that's above you career-wise that you would like to collaborate with in the future? Uh, I would do Nelly. <laughs> that's a theme, man. <laughs> I'm not. No, you see somebody who's, yeah, Jason, you're talking. Jason, you'd make drinks with Nelly in a video, right? <laughs> like we all would. Like He's on a beer can. Well, exactly. That's what we're all striving for. Nelly. <laughs> I get it. Now, okay, so here's something with Nelly, and this is, this is something people just do. Are you collaborating with your Florida Georgia line? And I said, do you want to take your career down that line? I'm not mad at the guy for doing it. Is that something that uh, that you would eventually do, is look into other genres and lean on those uh, moments or opportunities? Well, we also, well, I'm working on a project now called Black Cupid with uh, a singer, uh, Brenna Hernandez and Kassan, and that's crossing genre genres. It's rap, it's funk. Neo soul, pop, a uh, little bit of everything. So yeah, like definitely, you know what I'm saying, crossing genres and elevate my sound is what I tend to do, you know, in 2021. I love it. I love the positivity and I love the uh, versatility. We'll close Thank things you. out on Tiny Jam. Uh, tell us what the name of your last track is. Uh, the last track is called I Think I Love Her. I said I think I love her. And she want bad motherfucker. I think I love him. Oh Lord, I think I love him. I said I think I love him. And she want bad motherfucker. Man, I just might make her a mother. Pussy so good, I'm scared to hit without a rubber. Her test give me chills, her kisses make me stutter. She, she, she put, 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 put it down and like no one. Ass still show them when she got it covered. Remind me of who when you be out in public. Breaking necks, turning heads, causing their ruckus. Oh Lord, I think I love her. I think I love her. Hey. Oh Lord, I think I love her. I said I think I love her. And she want bad motherfucker. I think I love her. Oh Lord, I think I love her. I said I think I love her. And she want bad motherfucker. Wait, fellas whistle when she passed. Other girls got an issue with that ass. Baby, it's a good thing that you bad. Yo, ex to you for granted, all boo hoo boo, that's too bad. Sight, he just made a way for a brother. 
What's show with crying, miss? I got them all covered. First time I seen her, I knew she wasn't like no other. Oh, Lord, I think I love her. I think I love her. Hey. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I think I love her. I said I think I love her. And she want bad motherfucker. I said I think I love her. Oh, Lord, I think I love her. I said I think I love her. And she want bad motherfucker. Give us a little bit of a peek of how it starts from you write down lyrics to marrying that with a track, with a beat, with everything that goes into a final product that you're willing to put out and you're happy with. Um, I sit down with my producers, tell them what I'm looking for, or they already have something that they kind of made for me and want me to check check out. Uh, once they either send me some beats or you know we sit down and create something uh then that's when i start writing the uh lyrics i might have a topic already in mind or a sample for them to chop or like flip once they do that then that's when i start writing uh once i write uh i re- re- record get it mixed down uh usually before I put it out, like we, you know what I'm saying, make a hand, like a, a handful of records. Uh, and then we decide which one to be like the first single we put out before we drop an album and then go from there. How many times do you go back and forth with a producer on uh, intricacies of a beat? Or do you just go more hands off and say, that's about what I'm looking for. I trust you. I, uh, yeah, I really let the, I trust the producers. If it's something that I want them to add or tweak, I'll let them know. But for the most part, they get it down packed right off the rip. Has anybody ever said, uh, hey, maybe swap that out? Have you ever went after somebody uh, in your lyrics and then somebody say, eh, pump the brakes. Let's maybe make that a little more anonymous. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Do do you, uh, is there a little, is there a sense of pride in calling somebody out in, in one of your tracks? Uh... Yeah, you can say that. Yeah, but I I only call somebody out if they call me out though. That's all. I be in my own little bubble, man. I don't I don't, I don't mess with nobody. That's fine. I think I think that's a good keep. Just keep your nose clean. Push forward. Uh, as far as uh, as St. Louis goes, do you have a favorite venue that you've performed at outside of here at the Grand L for Tiny Jam? But uh, as far as uh, venues you performed in, what's your favorite to date? Uh, besides the Grandel, I'll have to say uh, Cicero's, rest in peace. Wow. Yeah, Cicero's was that deal. Did many of shows at Cicero's and the Gramophone. Perfect mix. Both of those like have a perfect mix of like probably random people stumbling into a show, mm-hmm. an absurd amount of college students, and then a bunch of people that are just from random parts of the city, yep. kind of all melting together in an Italian restaurant. Yep. Like, huh? <laughs> But it happened for all genres of music. It all was a, genres, rap, it, rock, you name it. It could go through. It's a staple, man. So that's, uh, I, I love hearing that, that uh, you were a part of that uh, little slice of St. Louis uh, music history. I'm, I'm giving away my age, too. I'm telling y'all that. I was, I was going to say, I was like, oh, man, maybe we went to the same high school. <laughs> uh, with, uh, with the new tracks coming out, with podcasts, everything else, what's your, what's your core focus going to be? for 2021 so we're recording this at the end of 2020 mm-hmm. we've all kind of been uh laying underground in what feels like a bunker almost what do you want to achieve in 2021 with your career um just expand my fan base um world worldwide just get get more listeners on my spotify my apple music title stuff like like, like that uh my get my instagram my social media following up um that's really the main goal for this upcoming year just marketing you know what i'm saying you can have the best music in the world but if it's not if no one hears it you know it doesn't mean anything so just uh getting my music you know what i'm saying into more faces you know in, into more ears stuff like that perfect end thanks for coming on tiny jam thanks for having me shout out to tiny jam and the grandel